Hi guys, it's Nancy and I thought it would be fun to assemble a summer card featuring the multi-step seashells from Kitchen Sink Stamp and I wanted to use this Hello Summer um, sentiment. So I started to do a pan pastel background but I, I think it's a little too bright. So I do want to use sort of this idea but I'm going to tone the colors down. I've already stamped and cut out the seashells that I'm going to use with the scan and cut. So remember when you purchase from Kitchen Sink Stamps, you can download the SVGs for free and everything will be cut out so you don't have to do any fussy cutting. And so now I'm just gonna make a background and then we'll see what we can do here. So I have my piece of cardstock here. Now on the other one, I don't know how, but my fingerprints are kind of all over it. So I do wanna use a little piece of uh, tape just to try to keep my fingerprints clean and not all over it. Maybe I should uh, use an anti-static tool. And this is just a uh, hammer mill color card stock that I've been using lately. I think this is cut down to five and a quarter by four. All right, so I am going to bring some pan pastels in. I did like my beach colors, so I'm going to use some yellow or yellow okra and orange shade for my beach. And I know it's not correct, but I do want it to be kind of straight. So we're going to make our beach. Okay, I'm going to take my yellow, yellow okra and my orange shade, which is like a deep dark orange. I just sprinkle some of that in there so that looks like beach. Okay, so that's good. Now I'm going to move my tape down, and this is just like post-it tape. This is the mint tape, I think, from scrapbook.com, whatever you have. You can just even use a scrap piece of paper. Okay, so there's my beach. I do want to have a little bit of water, so I'm going to mask off my beach here and then put another piece for our water, which is what I, really what I was missing on the other one. It didn't have any of that, the water. So we want a little bit for our water here, our little ocean. So I'm going to grab some blues, just some turquoise, if you've never tried pan pastels, they really do make it easy to make these backgrounds. I think my tape is crooked. Okay, and now I want my my sunset sky. So again, I'm gonna tape some of this off there. And for the sunset sky, I'm gonna do some lighter yellows. I think the yellows I had before was a little too dark and then it'll darken up as I add the colors. I will add more color as we go up. I don't want it to be too dark. I think last time I just had too, too much. Well, I guess this will be a sunrise if it's lighter, right? Because it gets darker as it's night. So I used a diorolide yellow and a little bit of that yellow ochre on the top here. And I'll do a little bit of that regular orange just to brighten it up. So this is orange. And it takes very little pigment. This is very finely milled pigment, almost like a chalk, but it's very smooth, very high quality pigment. And you can continue to layer the colors until you get them the way you want them to look. And very easy to clean up. Just take an eraser for any place you don't want any of the colors. But you can continue to layer those colors on until you get 
the saturation you're looking for. So it makes it really easy. And then you have a simple background for the stamps and any stamping you want to do. Okay, so that looks a little bit better. So I can put my pan pastels away here, move them out of the way. And I never clean my sponges or anything. I just kind of um, throw them in a little bucket and I just try to use the same colors in there. I'm just gonna wipe my desk off quick. Okay, now I do have the kitchen sink stamps cloud stencil I pulled out. So I do wanna add those into the sky here and I thought those would look really nice in kind of a purpley pink color. Let me grab my magenta. Again, just gonna grab a different sponge, grab a little tiny bit of that color, and just put that pink right in there on the stencil. You can cut your own stencils. These SVGs are for sale in the Kitchen Sink Stamps shop. You just buy the Mylar off of Amazon and you can cut them. All right, so now I wanna mute that down a little bit because now it just looks like Kool-Aid stains, right? So I'm just gonna take the clean side of the sponge here and just gonna gently drag that. And now it, those clouds are there, the color is there, but they are now muted into the background. So very pretty, looks real, right? Okay, so that's our background. Now at this point, I'm gonna do my stamping, any stamping I wanna do. You do need to set pan pastels with some kind of fixative, but I wanna stamp my um, Hello Summer and arrange where I want my shells before I spray it. And I'm actually gonna put a little bit of shimmering in the water here. This is just a shimmer pen. And you can stamp over this if you wanted to add more texture with the sand, some grasses, you could do that. You could mask off a little sun coming up, going down, whatever you wanna do with that. Versafine Clear Nocturne Ink. And give that a second to transfer. Perfect. Okay, really happy with that. And now we have the seashells. Now in this set, there are, I think, five seashells. So you have the large conch shell, you have the silver dollar, you have the starfish. I don't know what this long one's called. Uh, it's kind of like a, a horn. And then there is a small one. I didn't stamp this little guy here. So I just have the four larger ones. And I just wanted it to just look like this. Just a little thank you. You know, if you went on a little beach retreat lately and you just want to say thanks to anyone or, you know, just the thinking of you. But these shells look so realistic. I had to put, put them on here. And of course, you have that realistic 3D look from Kitchen Sink Stamps. And 
then just going to attach it to our card base. And we made a really beautiful beach card. And then I would spray this whole thing with a fixative. I use a matte fixative from Krylon so that everything's in there. I have some birds. Let me grab some birds. I know I have some seagulls somewhere we can stamp on there. That would even make it better. Hold on. Okay. We have the multi-step seaside seagull, which actually pairs with this perfectly because we have some grasses we can stamp in, but we also have these seagulls flying off in the background. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so there we go. Really easy beach scene. Just combining some pan pastels with the kitchen sink stamps cloud stencil and then using those kitchen sink stamp seashells to set that off. And the mini greeting set, it is called Bold Four Seasons Greetings. It's a little mini set. It says, let there be happy spring, welcome winter. It's fall, y'all. Hello, summer. There's a little sun, a little flower, some leaves, a little snowflake. And then the seashell stamp set is called Multi-Step Seashells. And last but not least, we brought in the Seaside Seagull. And the Seaside Seagull is a really fun stamp set. I have a video on that. I'll post it for you guys. But you get a seagull which perches on a little um, pylon. And there's some grasses and, of course, the little seagulls that we use. So go check all of those out at Kitchen Sink Stamps. I'll put the link down below for you. Don't forget to download the SVGs so you can cut your own stencils, but also you can cut out the die cuts for all of the matching stamp sets. It's completely free when you purchase your stamps. If you have to get them later, I think it's only 99 cents. So it's relatively inexpensive and you can use them with your Cricut Joy, your Scan and Cut, and also with your um, Silhouette Machine. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel please consider hitting that bottom right hand corner and the bell so you get notifications every time i post a new video thanks for watching guys and keep on stamping bye bye